So this video is going to show you how to make the most out of promoting a post on Facebook. Before we dive in, what is a promoted post? Um, if I scroll down a little bit and I look at any of my page updates, below each one on the right hand side, there's an opportunity to promote it. Okay. If I click on this, it gives me a couple of options. I can promote it to people who already like my page or I could promote it to people who like the page and their friends. Now, what you're really paying for is reach, and that is it, okay? And you're simply selecting a dollar amount. You know, $15 will push this post out to 1.8 thousand people to 3.5 thousand people. I could pay more if I wanted to, to reach more people. Okay, but there's very little value in someone just seeing an update. Okay, ultimately, what you want them to do is you want them to like, comment on, or share that update, right? And the reason why is because the more people do that, the more likely that they'll actually receive your content in their newsfeed organically. Okay, so the real objective with promoted posts is actually to get people to comment, like, and share your update but you have to do it wisely, okay? If you just go on your page and you pick, oh, I want to promote this post because I think it's a good one or it's an important one because it, it, it talks about a fundraiser we're having, that's not a great approach and you could potentially be throwing money out the window. The way to do this is to actually promote only posts that have already received likes, comments, and shares. Okay? And the reason why is because then you have proof, you have actual proof that the content is good and you can assume, you can make an assumption that if more people see it, more people will also agree with that. That yes, this is a good piece of content, I'm going to like, comment on, or share it. Okay, and so what you do is you go into your Facebook insights. There's a report page posts. Okay, by default, it's in reverse chronological order, right? There's a column over on the right hand side. It's the most important data point in terms of content called virality. All right, virality is simply the percent of people who saw a post that actually talked about it, which means they liked it, commented on it, or shared it. Okay, so this ratio is an expression of the quality, right? If you push something out to 671 people, 11 people comment, like, or share it, then, you know, is that good? Is that bad? You want to compare that with other updates, okay? Now, you can rank from high to low. You look at your most recent updates and you say, wow, this update is receiving a high virality, you know, 45%, 15%, 12%, 8%, you know, compared to other updates that I have. And the assumption here is kind of almost like a simple math formula, if, if you think about it that way. So if this update right here has been seen by 1,300 people and 200 people have talked about it, it it's probably a safe assumption to assume that if I promote it to 12,000 people, we might get, you know, say 1,500 people talking about it, okay? You know, a lot of people talking about it. In other words, the ratio here you know, this, this virality percent is going to remain relatively constant, okay? And when I say relatively constant, I need to qualify that. If you promote a post, keep in mind that people who are going to see it are people who have a weak tie to your page. But generally what you're going to find is you're going to find that the posts on your page that have a high virality will get a lot of likes, comments, and shares compared to the posts that actually are garbage. Okay, so when you go to spend money on promoting a post, what you want to do is you want to go here first. If I was going to promote this update, I, it's almost like I'm gambling. Like I'm actually placing a bet. Yes, I bet that if I promote this, it will get a lot of likes, comments, and shares. Okay, a bad bet would be I'm betting that if I promote this update, somehow out of the blue, lots of people are going to suddenly comment, like, and share it. Right? That is just stupid thinking. Look for the ones that are the best and promote those. Obviously promote them based on your goals and whether they're in line with uh, objectives that you have. Okay, so that is it. 